The beach stretched out before him, a desolate strip of sand bordered by jagged cliffs that stood like silent sentinels, guarding the secrets hidden within. The waves crashed against the shore, their relentless rhythm serving as a haunting backdrop to the desolation. Martin, a solitary figure, had come seeking solitude, an escape from the chaos of the world. Little did he know that this isolated beach held a secret far more chilling than he could have ever imagined. As Martin walked along the shore, his footsteps seemed to be the only sound in the world. The sky above was overcast, the sun hidden behind a thick veil of clouds. It was as if nature itself conspired to keep this place shrouded in darkness. He had heard whispers of this beach, rumors of strange occurrences and ghostly apparitions. But Martin was a skeptic, a man of science, and he dismissed such tales as mere superstition. As he continued his solitary stroll, he noticed something unusual in the sand, a set of footprints leading away from the water's edge. He followed them. Curiosity peaked. The footprints were fresh, as if someone had just walked here moments ago. But Martin knew he was alone on this beach, or so he thought. The footprints led him to a cave entrance hidden among the cliffs. With a flashlight in hand, Martin cautiously entered the cave. The air inside was damp and cold and the walls seemed to close in around him. As he ventured deeper, he noticed strange symbols etched into the stone, symbols that he couldn't decipher. It was clear that this place held secrets, secrets that had been hidden away for centuries. Suddenly, Martin heard a faint whisper, a soft voice that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere all at once. Leave this place it urged, a spectral echo that sent shivers down his spine. But Martin pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the mysteries of the speech. As he delved deeper into the cave, he came upon a chamber bathed in an eerie greenish light. In the center of the chamber stood a weathered ancient altar adorned with strange artifacts and symbols. It was here that the voice grew stronger, more insistent. Leave now while you still can, it warned, a desperate plea that seemed to carry the weight of centuries. Martin couldn't tear his eyes away from the altar, his scientific curiosity overpowering his fear. He reached out to touch one of the artifacts, and in that instant, a surge of energy coursed through him. Visions flashed before his eyes, ancient rituals, sacrifices, and a darkness that had been unleashed upon this beach long ago. As the visions subsided, Martin realized the horrifying truth. He had unwittingly awakened something, something that had been slumbering for centuries, something that hungered for release. Panic seized him as he tried to flee the cave but the entrance had vanished, leaving him trapped in the suffocating darkness. The voice now echoed through the chamber, a chorus of anguished souls that cried out for release. Martin's flashlight flickered, and he was plunged into pitch black darkness. He could feel a presence closing in on him, a malevolent force that sought to consume his very soul. In the distance, the sound of waves grew louder, as if the ocean itself were rising to claim him. Desperation and terror gripped Martin as he stumbled blindly through the chamber, searching for an escape. But the walls seemed to shift and twist, leading him in circles, trapping him in a nightmarish maze. Just as he thought all hope was lost, a blinding light pierced the darkness the entrance to the cave had reappeared, beckoning him to escape the horrors within. Martin scrambled toward it, his heart pounding in his chest. With one final burst of strength, 
he burst into the daylight, gasping for breath. The beach lay before him, unchanged and desolate, as if nothing had happened. But Martin knew the truth. He had narrowly escaped the clutches of a malevolent force that had haunted this isolated beach for centuries. The whispers, the footprints, the visions, they were all part of a nightmarish trap. A trap that he had come dangerously close to becoming a permanent resident of. As he walked away from the beach, Martin couldn't help but wonder how many others had fallen victim to its sinister allure the secrets hidden within the cave remained locked away. But Martin knew that some mysteries were best left undisturbed, some beaches best left unvisited.